Feb 20, 2003 is when we met the first time, I think. I'd heard of him as uh, one of the senior most creative heads in the agency. When I first saw her, I mean, I sort of looked at this person who had extremely brilliant eyes. And I fundamentally, I said, what an intelligent person. In our subsequent conversation, she was extremely articulate. She knew the words. Uh, and words are very important because I'm a writer. And in that moment of ambiguity, there's always that moment of surety that I felt that I said, this person, I'm going to know this person for a very long time. I think we spoke a lot. Yeah. That's the one thing that I really remember that we just sat and spoke, and we spoke, and we spoke. Somewhere between those roads and those rides, uh, something beautiful began. We got into a relationship, but our time together was short-lived because I had to move back to Pune. Um, and that's when we, I think, uh, also had a few differences. There was strength in the way we felt, but I don't think it was time. And it did break me at that point in time because I was like, how could I be so wrong, right? And at one point you're like, okay, sigh, fine. That's next chapter. Despite being married, both of us, and we were in happy marriages, we were in stable marriages, um, and because we were all from the same fraternity ecosystem, I think people knew about us. But when we met individually outside, there was always in uh, an affection I felt for him. The memory of him and the memory of how I felt in his presence was something which was special and I hadn't been able to feel that again. But we, we weren't really in touch, so we can call it the we can call it the silent years in between. We connect, reconnected uh, in the pandemic. We got to see newer sides of each other. So I've always been in awe of him uh, professionally and even as a human being. 20 years later, when I reconnected with him, it was more of a spiritual awe because he had uh, transformed into a, a a beautiful version of himself, which I had, I had the pleasure of discovering. I think it's about building something beautiful. It's about living life, learning together, like having terrible days as well, but doing that, knowing that we've relinquished our right to quit. That's very important. Because right? we've, we've literally, there is no honeymoon phase, we've done that 20 years ago. There's no getting to know each other phase, we've done that. Uh, crests, troughs, we've been through those. Different marriages, different experiences, we've gone to the Harvard of marriages and come out. Yeah. We've done the degrees yeah. and now we're here. There was something karmic in this, for sure. You know, we all both come with our own respective baggages because when you go through a journey and you meet once again, one adulthood later, there's a whole lot of things that we've both gone through. But somewhere in that, I think she has become my universe. And I realized that. When I spoke to somebody, I, uh, one of my gurujis, and he laughed and he said that after 21 years, you guys want to get married? <laughs> Either you are fools, <laughs> right? Or you are soulmates.
to me.